everybody. This is Ted Husing speaking. And our first Hollywood hobby is swimming in a beautiful private pool. The swimmer is Dick Arlen taking his morning workout. Arlen is an aquatic star and knows that swimming is the best all-around conditioner. Say, if I had a plunge like this in my own yard, I'm afraid I'd never get out to the studio. But then I haven't a backyard, I'm not an actor, and I can't swim like Arlen. How's the water, Dick? Oh, boy, 52! You better get some warm clothes on. Let's see that big son of yours. Bring Junior over close. We all want to look at Jobina Ralston's little boy. Yeah. You want Daddy to fly for you? You want to learn how to fly it yourself. All right. Are you ready to fly it, Ricky? All right. All right. Okay. Okay. All right, now hold it. Hold on to it. Now there. Wait a minute. Now, let it go. Let go. Here we go. There it goes. There. There it goes. See it? Will Junior be a flyer yeah. or an actor? I Here wonder. Watch Wham. It. Ah, Frankenstein himself, good old Boris Karloff, my favorite lover, and a swell fellow getting ready for a hockey match. And this is no game for sissies. It's real rough field hockey a few miles from the studio lots. It's a very popular Hollywood hobby with many of the stars, particularly with those of the English colony. Karloff does this field hockey act every time he gets a chance because it's fine exercise and keeps him in tip-top shape. Just look at that Frankenstein go after the ball. He socks a mean stick. Field hockey, you know, is one of the most ancient of games. It was played 2,500 years ago. Some refer to it as polo afoot. It is more likely that polo is hockey on horseback. Well, that's that. And Boris, do your Frankenstein stuff and scare your opponents out of the way and you'll goal them. I told you so, big boy. A couple of racketeers, Charlie Farrell and Keith Gledhill. Say, Keith, how would you feel if your favorite pupil was to give you a trimming today? Well, Charlie, I wouldn't like it very much, but come out and see what you can do. All right. Say, slow down, will you? They got a movie camera on this. Okay. Well, Charlie Farrell fooled me with that thing on his lip, but he can't fool me on the courts. He knows his tennis. In fact, he's one of the very best players in all movie land. And he's got to be good to play with young Keith Gledhill, who is one of the top-ranking amateurs of the country. This workout is one of the fast courts at Palm Springs, California, where stars go to relax between productions. Well, Farrell, you'd better be careful not give Gledhill an opening or he'll sock you right off the court. I told you so, Charlie. Another Palm Springs relaxing spot is the beautiful swimming pool where we found Buster Crab ready to work out. Swimming is second only to golf as a Hollywood sports hobby. You all know Buster, who, like his good friend Johnny Weissmuller, plays Tarzan roles and breaks swimming records. Buster still holds a half a dozen aquatic records, but once an actor, always an actor, they say. So he must work hard to keep that old waistline down. You know, swimming records are like soap bubbles. They have little durability except those marks of the real champions. And Buster's powerful arm action and leg push have kept his records on the sports calendar. Why does one say Crab doing the crawl stroke? It should be Buster Fish doing the speed stroke. Say, I'd like to have a chest like Buster has. What a man. Skeet shooting enthusiasts at Santa Monica, California. That camera fiend, Jimmy Gleason. And now a big shot who is a very good shot is Jack Holt, who breaks 40 out of a possible 50 when he pumps the gun for the flying skeets. Who's your next victim, Jimmy? Now, over on, Jack. Give another fellow a chance. For the love of Mike Gable, where's the war? Still at it, eh? No war, just Clark Gable trying out his favorite hobby. Good going, Clark. Now, suppose you try the next stand. Gable knows his skeet, and his score is high. That's enough, Jimmy. Put that camera away. And now Guy Kibbe, Frank Craven, and Grantland Rice ready to tee off on the lakeside course at Hollywood. I got that. You know that. No, we can't stand for that. Say, uh, Duke, what's your handicap? Twenty. Twenty? Yeah. Eighteen strokes and a wife and baby. Oh, I... 
going to be a little readjustment of handicaps this morning, Mr. Kibbe. You're going to get three strokes from me. Three strokes? I'm entitled to four, Frank. You're going to get three strokes. Well, we've been paying at four strokes all the time. Warner Brothers paid for your last trip east. What do you mean, Warner Brothers paid for my last trip east? Well, they paid me and I gave it to you. Yeah. Well, you're going to get three strokes just the same. Four strokes. Three strokes. Four strokes I don't play. For the third and last time, you're going to get three strokes. Four? All right, four. Now, just a second. I understand you're going to play Hamlet this year. I'll play him. Dollar, 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 two strokes on each side. Ha! Oh, that's fair enough. Three strokes. Four. Three strokes. That's four. Socko. Oh, guy, you got yourself in the rough that time, and this young lady is not as happy as you'd like her to be. Oh, what she thinks of you, well, we'll skip it. <laughs> All right, four. All right, Grant, you better get yourself another partner. And so, Walter Houston, a great actor, a great artist, and a golfer. Well, that's a four, Walter. That makes us all square. I guess that's right. Say, Walter, don't you find that after being cooked up in the theater, especially with a play with a long run like Dodgers, this game's pretty good for your nerves. Yeah, I know, but after I've sliced about three drives and got into a couple of sand traps and missed about three or four short putts, my nerves feel just as steady as though I'd been sitting in a dentist chair all morning. What are you talking about? You're even a party here. Yeah, that won't last long. I know my game. Well, I hope not. Say, Grant, give me a tip, will you? What am I doing right? I can always remember the wrong thing. Just keep going the way you are, Walter. This is your big yeah, day. I know. I know this game now. It can lick me, but it can't fool me. Don't worry about that. Just keep going along. Mm -hmm. That's all. I know. Say, so, Walter, what I think of it, uh, I see you made a big hit in the fellow this summer. What do you think of this fellow Shakespeare? Say, you know, that man Shakespeare, he knew his golf and his golfers. What do you mean by that? Well, here's one from The Tempest. He made such a sinner of his memory to credit his own lie. You've played with golfers like that, haven't you? Well, uh, just a few, Walter. <laughs> Don't let it get your nanny, Walter. Well, I told you what happened. I knew it. There goes the old ball game. Well, you talked yourself into that one. Here it is. Smile. All you have to do is find it. I gotta hit it. Oh, that ball can be played. Yes, by a geologist. Now, give me the stick. And here's another one from Shakespeare. I do begin to have bloody thoughts. Well, you got it out. I told you you could. Well, it's too bad we missed the parade. What parade? Well, the elephants have been by. Yeah, this is great for the nerves, all right. I wish I was back in the theater doing a matinee and a couple of benefits. How do you lie now, Walter? Well, Grant. Golf is certainly a great character builder. 